other guys, I'll be going over how to prepare uh, and set up Simplify 3D to work with the ANET A6 3D printer. What I want to do is that I want to select Other, click Next. Your new printer, you will name it as corresponding to what you name your printer to be. For a Cartesian robot, it means that it has a square build platform. This is a rep wrap firmware. Baud rate for most ANET printers is 11, uh, one, this number here. Your build volume is 220 by 220 by a height of 230. It is advertised as up to 250, but that is with very fine calibration, very difficult to do. One extruder, your filament diameter is 1.75 and your nozzle diameter is 0. You want to make sure that you select that this printer has a heated bed. Then proceed to click Next. Click Finish. Now, inside Simplify 3D, import your model, either dragging it from your web browser where you have it downloaded, and importing it. Click Center and Arrange, make sure everything's lined up. Add Process, and from here on, you'll be able to, this will be your default print settings. But um, these are the default settings for the ANET A6 or, or the printer when you first import it. These settings are good as is. One thing I do advise is turning up your attraction distance to 6, turning your, the speed up to 70, putting a vertical lift of 0 0.9. That'll lift the extruder up and away from the model before it moves to the next printing section. Your layers, you will want to set to 0 0.3. You want your perimeters at 4, you want your top and bottom layers to also be 4. First layer height, you want to set to 95. First layer speed, uh, under speed, I normally put that to 40%. Additions, I, I always use a raft, base layer is disabled, one layer of a raft. For outline, this primes the nozzle, I normally set this to about 1.6. Infill, any of these work. I normally use wiggle. Supports, you don't need any supports for this model. Temperatures, I have the bed normally at 65. And the nozzle at 215. That's for most hatchbox PLA. I have my fan speed on the second layer set to 50, 50%. Fourth layer, I set it to 100 allows the print to be able to stick down the first layers more easily. Decode, there's not, you don't change anything in scripts, your ending script. Uh, what you'll want to do is you is that I'll supply it in, in the description below, but I normally grab the one from my, from my other profile here. This script here allows the printer, or actually what it does is that it'll move the print head up and out of the way and it'll home to the X and Y locations of zero. And I also have it play a, note, a tune or a note at the end of the print to, to let me know when it's here. I normally change it to 70 for print speed. Outline under speed, you never want, really want any. Um, support structure under speed is okay. Travel speed is the speed that it will travel when moving between two areas. Well, this is the same. One thing I do is I'll, is I'll put avoid crossing outlines. What that'll do is that it'll move the extruder um, within the model uh, on the print bed to prevent stringing. I'm going to click Update Profile, click OK, prepare to print.